Is your Toyota Tacoma moody? Well, good morning, everybody, and how are you today? Pretty good here, and welcome back to the channel. So is your Toyota Tacoma moody? I gotta say, mine is, and this doesn't really apply to just the Toyota Tacoma. It seems to be that way with most vehicles, but we're gonna talk about it in reference to the Tacoma since that's what I'm driving right now. So what do I mean by, is your Toyota Tacoma moody? Well, you know, it seems to me that on different days, in different climates, in different weather, the Tacoma acts differently. Sometimes it's happy, sometimes it's glad to see me, sometimes it's rip-roaring ready to go, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's moody, sometimes it's, it's noisy, sometimes it's rougher, sometimes it just doesn't seem happy to see me. Now, what am I talking about? Well, first of all, climate. Climate impacts your vehicle, of course. The way it runs, the way it feels. I mean, I've lived in cold climates where, you know, summer's up, everything's nice and lubricated and flowing and everything is smooth, everything is pliable. And then winter comes, right? It gets cold outside. Just like us, everything kind of tenses up a little bit, right? Especially if your vehicle or your Tacoma sits outside. You know, when it's in those cold temperatures, the fluids, they don't run as well. Until they heat up, it takes a little bit. Things start to squeak a little bit more often, you know? If you've got squeaky leaf springs or shocks that uh, don't seem to suppress or give you that nice smooth feel like they did when it was summertime, it happens. Also, humidity. Humidity plays a huge role in how vehicles run. You know, if you want to know, check out NASCAR, for example. I mean, they're always talking about the conditions at the track. Not the track itself, but the temperature, the humidity, all that kind of stuff affecting the way that the race cars run. Now, they're, of course, the extreme. I mean, they're running around the track at high speeds, and obviously, any little thing is going to impact them. I mean, they're going to notice it right away. But that's a good indication uh, as to how yours and mine are affected. You know, we're obviously not out, at least most of us, you know, running our trucks around a track at 200 miles an hour, but it still has impact. I notice it in the gears. I have a manual transmission, of course, and I notice it in the way that the truck shifts. You know, when it's the right temperature outside, and today is a really good example. It's 87 degrees. It's not high, high humidity like it gets here. Um, but the truck seems to be running really, really well today. All the gears are nice and smooth. All the bumps, we just went over a railroad track, nice and smooth. Everything is, is pleasant. My Tacoma is not moody today. It's happy to see me. It wants to go. The acceleration is good. Everything just feels right. Everything feels the way that it should feel, right? Now, that said, there are days that I've gotten in this, and maybe the first day that I picked it up or the first week or two that I had it, my Tacoma wasn't so happy to see me. And it probably wasn't. I mean, think about it from the Tacoma standpoint, right? It's brand new, everything just put together, all new fluids, everything's nice and tight, nothing's worn in, and then I jump in it, right? I start shifting the gears around. They're not used to being shifted around. They're used to sitting still, all mashed up and mashed the way that they were built, right? Now I jump in it, I take off, and of course, there's a little bit of a learning curve for me, right? I mean, I hadn't had a manual Tacoma before. Every manual transmission is just a little bit different. You've got to get used to it. So here's this guy, jumps in, and starts fiddling with the gears and stuff. Maybe he doesn't hit them exactly like they're supposed to, right? And the Tacoma, it's being moody anyway, because it's brand new. It doesn't want you to be messing with it. So you get in, you start shifting things around, and that doesn't make the truck real happy. Um, it takes a while for it to kind of limber up a little bit, you know? Get loose, get everything kind of seated and worn in the way it's supposed to be. And I gotta say, that might have tainted my view uh, of the manual transmission in the Tacoma a little bit right from the start. You know, because it was brand new, it was a little bit moody, I wasn't used to it, and it just didn't really want me in it anyway, right? 
I did mention uh, a few times, or I have mentioned a few times on the channel about reverse. You know, a great example of that. Here's this guy jumping in, trying to shift me around. And every time he wants to go backwards, he goes into first and then stops on the brake and then fiddles around with the shifter to get it where it's supposed to be. Doesn't make the Tacoma very happy. Now, I will say that everything has smoothed out for me on this truck generally, right? I mean, everything is now meshed right. Everything is properly seated, I think. I have not a ton of miles, about 2,200 miles, something like that. So granted, a lot of you guys are gonna say, oh, it isn't even broke in until you have 100,000. Well, I disagree with that. I think it's probably pretty well broken in at, uh, at 2,100 and some odd miles now. But uh, it's it's smoothed out, it feels good. Of course, a little bit of that is, is me. Um, I'm used to the transmission now. I know where reverse is intuitively. It's not like I have to sit and think about it or accidentally hit, uh, you know, sixth, I guess, when I'm trying to go, or fourth, when I'm trying to go all the way over, or maybe fifth. Um, you'd think I know how to drive a manual. Uh, but when I go all the way over and down, uh, I don't do that anymore. I haven't done that in quite a while. So I'm not, you know, scaring drivers behind me anymore by, uh, starting to go backwards when the light turns green. Uh, but it has smoothed out, it feels good. The suspension I think now is nice and broken in. I've changed the lift, you know, I don't know, two, three times, who knows. But this lift has been on for quite a while. I think everything is seated properly and is pretty much gonna give me the kind of feel that I have uh, right now. And uh, everything is good. Uh, from a technology standpoint, uh, my Tacoma never was moody as far as that goes. Um, it's always been good on the tech end. I've never had any little glitches or problems or black screens or anything weird like that. So definitely not moody from a technology standpoint. Everything has always been spot on awesome with the Tacoma as far as that goes. Anyway, just kind of wanted to get on here, make a little crazy video, kind of talking about my moody Tacoma. Um, leave a comment, let me know. Is your Tacoma moody sometimes? Do you find that sometimes it just doesn't have any interest in you and would really rather you just put the keys away and leave it alone? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.